This is KMAX Red Raider Nation. Good evening, everybody, and welcome into the Red Raider Nation. I'm Ryan King. Now, we're just five days away from Big 12 Media Days in the Star in Arlington, Texas. So, naturally, preseason honors are being handed out. Today, it was the 2018 preseason All Big 12 football team. Now, three Red Raiders were honored as part of the All Big 12 team, ironically, all on the defense. And the only school with three or, three or more all Big 12 defenders. At linebacker, we have Dakota Allen, who was a part of the second team in 2017. And then in the secondary, senior Deshaun Johnson and former walk on junior Justice Parker named two of the five defensive backs, both also on the all Big 12 second team last season. Now, no offensive players for Tech, a bit surprising for a Cliff Kingsbury coach team. Offensive player of the year is Will Greer, quarterback of West Virginia. Defensive player of the year, Ben Banigou, defensive end from TCU. And newcomer of the year, Brendan Radley Hiles, Oklahoma true freshman defensive back. Oklahoma also leads with most selections at seven. Now, football just about six weeks away, but camp, well, we're just about a little over two weeks away. So we continue our countdown to camp and the schedule previews with week 12 and the Red Raiders matchup with Kansas State. Week 12, Texas Tech will travel to the Little Apple, Manhattan, Kansas, for a matchup with the Kansas State Wildcats. A series deadlocked at nine apiece but the Wildcats coming away with six of the last seven. The Red Raiders have not had recent success against the Wizards Wildcats, losing each of the last two games by seven or less, despite scoring 35 and 38 points. Two-year starter Jesse Ertz graduated, but the Wildcats have two quarterbacks that saw action last season when he went down with injury. Senior Alex Delton and sophomore Skylar Thompson will battle for the starting role, but in true Bill Snyder fashion, they're both expected to get plenty of playing time throughout the season. Coach Schneider says no matter how much preparation his team puts in, he'll always feel uneasy heading into the season. You know, some areas have uh, made improvement, others uh, perhaps haven't. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, sitting uh, in my seat, it's a little difficult in the spring because it's good against good, it's us against us. So, you know, from my standpoint, uh, uh, for everything I see something good, then there's something bad happening, so I can't win. So I always come out of spring practice in a, uh, in a miserable state of mind, but uh, the, uh, that's uh, the nature of it right now. In former Red Raider football news, Kansas City Chiefs' new starting quarterback and former Red Raider Patrick Mahomes will be at the Infinity of Lubbock tomorrow from 6 to 8 p.m. to sign autographs and meet and greet the Red Raider faithful. It will cost you $50, but it's all for a good cause. All proceeds going to the YWCA of Lubbock. So come out, say hi to Pat, get an autograph, and donate to a great cause. Now, baseball season may be over, but the honors have not stopped for this group. Today, Gabe Holt, Gabe Holt was named a Baseball America First Team All-American of the freshman team. This was Holt's fifth All-American honor of the season, making him Tech's first ever unanimous freshman All-American, first one in Tech history. So the future is very bright for him and this Red Raider base, baseball team that just continues to build. Now, finally, Texas Tech... Assistant coach of the women's golf team, Lori Brower, will, begin, will return to professional golf Thursday when she tees off at the inaugural U.S. Senior Women's Open held at Chicago Golf Club in Wheaton, Illinois. She tees off at 7.44 a.m. tomorrow. Winning is my goal. That is my goal. Whether or not I'm going to do that, I'm going to give it my very best. That's all I can do. I'm going to show up and I'm going to give it my very best. There's a lot of other girls that are there trying to do the same thing that have been practicing a lot longer than I have. It really does come down to the mental part of it now. And finally, Zach Reams was promoted from Rookie League to the Pensacola Firefights. Lauren yes. was mentioning one of her favorite parts about baseball is the name. So <laughs> she, he's awesome. now moved up to Class A. So already some Red Raiders nice. moving up there. It's the best part of minor league baseball. There's some good the ones The names up there. are amazing. Yeah. If you really want to go, if you want to go entertain yourself for a few hours, go and look those names up. I love it. We'll be back. <laughs>